Um, Sam, you brought this up in our talk back with Glenn and Lou. You you mentioned that Citizen Kane mm -hmm. is like the number one movie any film major is forced to watch. Yes. And it often is. It's the one movie that any cinephile that you talk to is going to be like, oh, I'm a big fan of Citizen Kane. The best movie ever made. To make them, uh, you know, seem mm -hmm. lofty and artsy. Well, the 1941 film is often regarded as perhaps the greatest movie ever made, but now a newly uncovered review by a critic from the Chicago Tribune has wrecked the film's perfect rating on Rotten Tomatoes, dropping it from a 100% score to 99%. Oh, come on. The 80-year-old review was originally published on May 7th, 1941, a week after Citizen Kane's release. The critic, who published the review under a pseudonym, as per the paper's policy at the time, uh, the name was May Tanae, okay. as in Matinee. Uh -huh. oh, that's kind of cute. Uh, they had this to say about the film. It's interesting. It's different. In fact, it's bizarre enough to become a museum piece, but its sacrifice of simplicity to eccentricity robs it of distinction and general entertainment value. Adding, I only know it gives one the creeps and that I kept wishing they'd let a little sunshine in. Oh. The review was uncovered as part of Rotten Tomatoes' archival project that aims to add reviews of uh, past iconic films. It was posted in March, on March 2nd, but it's now just getting noticed. So there you go, Citizen Kane, no longer a 100% reviewed movie. You know, uh, there, there's stuff floating around online now saying that uh, it, uh, this puts the movie below uh, films like Paddington 2. Oh no! no. <laughs> and Terminator and uh, uh, other films of that nature. So, sorry, Citizen Kane. I think I think it's getting booted off the uh, the uh, film school itinerary. But how will Crazy. anyone know the Rosebud reference? I know. Um, other than from The Sims, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, the right. cheat code. Yeah. Um, I, I I think the idea of bringing back these old reviews is kind of fun and yeah. neat in a way to learn how society thought of the movie at that time, because there are so many movies. For example, uh, like in our lifetime, that didn't really have a following at first, and then became cult classics. Yeah. So that was like Napoleon Dynamite. Everyone saw it and was like, "This is whack," and then mm -hmm. it slowly became this like amazing indie nerd culture icon. Yeah. Um, but, but before, I don't like, know if I wanted to tarnish old movies like this, though. But back then, when movies were reviewed, like Citizen Kane, for instance, these mm -hmm. people who reviewed these movies were actual critics. Like That was their, their profession, their yes. job. Uh -huh. Today, That's a good point. movies are reviewed by people like me on IMDb. <laughs> so. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Have you ever reviewed a movie on IMDb? IMDb is my only uh, place where I s submit my reviews. You actually review things. I'm a very avid IMDb <laughs> person, yes. Really? <laughs> is, is this real? Yes, I love it. I have a whole favorite list, and I, I have star ratings okay so shows. what's your top rated movie uh I, 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 I you know what i might be i really really like sin city but it's been a while since i oh I, yeah participated you should in. probably revisit that one <laughs> sin city's a good movie i still love it <laughs> um i'm re-watching die hard right now die hard oh, one great. two and okay. three okay christmas okay. movie yeah yeah well the the Die Hard with with a Vengeance. The the newer one is the Christmas movie, not 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 you the older do, ones. So you do not think the older ones are Christmas movies? No, I don't. It's think It's a big so. argument. Yeah, yep. yeah, yeah. All yeah. right, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> I I would like to go back and read the old reviews. I don't know yeah. if I want them to impact the scores. Maybe I don't, maybe that's the right thing well, to do. I, I don't stopped, know. But I kind of stopped trusting the Rotten Tomatoes scores a while ago because yes. they they separate their reviews now from like user reviews mm -hmm. and critic reviews. Yes, exactly. And a lot of the times there's so much disparity mm -hmm. between the two. It's like, yeah. Just watch the movie and make up your own mind. Yes. Yeah. Yes.